today I'm reviewing the Geek and Gorgeous 101 A Game Serum. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com, check my Patreon community, or click on the links below. Okay, so this is a retinol serum by the brand Geek and Gorgeous, which I've really been enjoying a lot of their products. It comes in two strengths, so we've got uh, one strength that is 0.1% retinal and another one which is 0.05% uh, retinal. So if you're looking at putting an order in, I recommend picking up the one that's higher strength because when you start using it, you could mix a little bit with a moisturizer and work your way up. But if you're planning on just using it as it is, if you're not you but been using retinal before retinal is stronger than retinol because retinal only requires one conversion in the skin so keep that in mind it is stronger than most retinols so start out slow mix it with a moisturizer and work your way up so okay they say retinal is the big brother molecule of the better known anti-aging uh gold standard retinol uh, retinol needs two metabolic, metabolic conversion steps to reach its active form in the skin, which is retinoic acid. Retinol is stronger and only requires that one step in skin. So retinol can convert a lot more efficiently to retinoic acid than retinol, making it uh, a great and highly effective uh, retinoid ingredient to use for your skin. So if you've been using retinol for a long time and are looking for something that's a little bit stronger but not, might, might not want to go with something prescription, retinol is a great option. So let's get to this. So my first criteria is packaging and they use very efficient uh, air pump tight, airtight pump bottles. So no issues with that. Uh, in terms of denatured drying alcohol, this does not contain any of those. And it's also fragrance free. I found pretty much everything I've tried from Geek and Gorgeous is fragrance free and doesn't contain drying alcohol. So it makes it a really great brand for sensitive skin types. Um, in terms of the manufacturing location, this is made in Budapest, Hungary, which hopefully someday I'll get there. We'll see. I was going to go last year, but that didn't quite work out. So maybe five years from now. Thanks. Yeah, exactly. So ease of use. So like I said, this is stronger than retinols. So be sure to start out slow. I recommend using this in your evening routine. You can certainly use this in the daytime routine if you want. I just find it easier because retinol, retinoids can be drying to skin. Uh, it's really nice if you use this and then apply a really nice thick moisturizer to prevent some of that dryness. Um, so if you use any other lighter serums, watch the fluorescent yellow color of that. So retinols typically are yellow. This one is like fluorescent yellow. So, um, Anyway, so recommend, if, especially if you're newer to this, mixing it with a moisturizer sometimes can be great. Uh, but it is certainly yellow, so it gives kind of skin a yellow tinge, which is also why it's nice to use in your evening routine. Um, and then after you apply this and let it soak in, be sure to follow with a good moisturizer or a night sleeping mask, things like that. Um, and if your skin is sensitive, starting out like every other day and working your way up or starting every third day and working your way up, uh, over a period of weeks or even months sometimes is the way to go. It's better to start slow. I've talked to so many people that pick up a retinol or even tretinin and start using it every day. And then they email me, what should I do? My skin is red. It's bleeding. It's flaking. It's peeling. It looks horrible. So retinization is a period of starting a retinoid because there's a term for it because it goes along with dry skin, flaking, purging, things like that. So the slower you start, the better off. And especially another thing that can help is choosing a retinoid that doesn't contain alcohol or fragrance can also help that process. Um, so be sure to start slowly and be sure to use sunscreen during the daytime. Retinol, retinoids, they make your skin more sensitive to sun and burning and things like that. Um, yeah. And also if you use a retinoid, don't wax because that will peel your skin right off. I'm sure a lot of you have learned that the hard way, including myself. So so very easy to use. No issues with that. In terms of beneficial ingredients, so we've got triheptanoin, which is a light, oily liquid uh, that works as a high spreadability emollient. And it kind of helps give things a nice, smooth texture. 
We've got biosaccharide gum one, which is a sugar, which is created from sorbitol uh, through fermentation. Um, it's good for smoothing, moisturizing, anti-aging, retexturizing. So it's very good for hydrating skin. Then we've got allatin, good for hydrating and soothing skin. Then we've got that retinol. So obviously I talked about earlier, retinol, stronger than retinol. It only requires one conversion into skin so that it helps. Retinols are great. Retinol, 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 retinoids. They're so great. They're great for anti-aging, anti-acne, helping your skin texture. They help with pigmentation issues, preventing breakouts, um, things like that. Fine lines, wrinkles, uh, almost any imperfection that you have. Retinol can help improve to some degree. So this one's great. I love that they have two strengths. If you're buying it from somewhere where you have to pay shipping, if you get the stronger strength and just start mixing with a moisturizer, that might be the way to go. Then you don't have to put in two orders. But if you can, just work your way up from the lower to the stronger. But if you have never used a retinoid before, I just don't recommend starting with something like this because it's going to be too strong unless you mix maybe just a very small amount with a lot of moisturizer and start that way. So there you go. It's strong, but it's great for your skin. Then we've got cloudberry seed oil, which is something uh, a few months ago I was looking for a lot of any product I could find with cloudberry in it because it's really good. Uh, lipid for your skin. It also contains vitamins A, C, and E, as well as phytosterols. Um, so, and it also has been thought to help prevent and heal photoaging damage from the sun. Then we've got panthenol, good for soothing and hydrating skin. And then we've got vitamin E, a good antioxidant and hydrating ingredient. So overall, it's got a nice list of beneficial ingredients. Uh, a few more skin soothing ingredients I wouldn't have argued with, but overall... It's got a really nice, brief, but effective ingredient list, so I was very impressed with it. In terms of animal testing, uh, this is vegan and cruelty-free, so great. In terms of performance, so I, you know, sometimes depending on the season, winter, my skin has to be more dry than it normally is. It's already dry, uh, so I like to kind of play around with my retinoids. In the summer, I like to kick it up a bit. Then when winter starts, bring it back down and then work my way back up, depending on how hydrated my skin is through the winter. But overall, I've noticed this has helped with fine lines. It's helped with wrinkles. It's helped with texture. It's helped with brightness. So very happy with the performance of this. Works great. Love it. Uh, then in terms of acneogenic ingredients, there's none. That's a winner all the way around. So vitamin E is a little bit, but overall a great ingredient list, especially if you have acne prone skin. Um, in terms of the price, so I converted it from Hungarian dollars to U.S. dollars. So it's in U.S. dollars, $15.23 for 0.95 ounces or 28 milliliters. And that makes it 54 cents a milliliter. So pretty affordable for a retinoid. Most retinoids are very expensive because it's just not a, apparently a very affordable or easy ingredient to get. Uh, then in terms of the it factor, I love this one. It's got everything I want from a retinoid treatment. No irritating ingredients, no alcohol, no fragrance. Uh, highly effective retinoid type. Soothing and hydrating ingredients as well. Well packaged. It's affordable, cruelty free. No real acneogenic ingredients. I love the option of having two different strengths. So I found this to be a winner all the way around. Geek and Gorgeous, they've done a great job with everything I've tried from them. So I've been pretty happy. So overall, I gave this a 10 out of 10. So I highly recommend checking it out, especially if you've already been able to successfully use retinols and high strength retinols and are looking for something a little bit stronger. This can be a nice option. So. Anyway, those are my thoughts. I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to try this or if you have a favorite retinal serum. What is it and what do you love about it? There's more and more. You know, when I was looking for retinal serum years ago, there wasn't many, but now there seems to be a lot more options. So it's really nice. So anyway, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much.